It is what happens when your body begins to lose heat faster than you can produce it. Hypothermia is what we're talking about. It can strike at any time in this cold weather and can sometimes uh, prove to be deadly. So Dr. Samadhi, bringing you in now, I wanted to ask you, how do you even know if you're suffering from hypothermia and how long does it take to get it? It's uh, really important for people to understand the signs and symptoms of hypothermia. The core temperature of the body normally is about 98.6 degrees. And when it becomes lower than 95 or 35 degrees of centigrade, then you have hypothermia. You end up having cold feet. You would have trouble speaking. The skin becomes pale because all the blood starts to go to the main uh, vessels. You may get confused. And later on, this is within the first 15, 20 minutes, later on you may start having really shallow breathing, become unconscious, and this is, becomes like a real emergency. And hypothermia can kill people. In the previous segment, we talked about elderly because their skin is very thin. Children are at risk. And it, by the way, if you have hypothyroid, if you have arthritis, if you're diabetic or have spinal cord injuries, you are at very high risk. And also what happens when you don't take care of this quickly, you may actually have frostbite at the extremities. You may have waxing and tail extremities, toes and fingers which can really become a major problem, lose sensitivity, and sometimes people lose their limbs and can go for amputation. So the sooner you get back to shelter, to home, warm up and take warm uh, fluid uh, and, you know, slowly warm it up, not to put any heat quickly or under hot water because you can get burned. That's the way to treat it. Ultimately, you want to call 911 if you have any of these signs and symptoms, very serious problem. That's what I was going to ask you, Dr. Siegel. I mean, you, we think we go outside, our hands are freezing, they're pink, you know, the extremities are pink, the tips, and you go under, put your hands under hot, hot water. Is that bad, or can you just do any, like a warm water? Does it help at all? Well, if, you, if your fingers start tingling, or they start to turn color, then, or yellow, waxy skin is a sign of frostbite. So if I get, the, pa the patient goes back inside, you do want to put your hands under warm water. You do want to warm up your hands. If you start to have more extreme symptoms of the cold, like David was talking about, hypothermia, where your blood pre where your temperature drops below 95 degrees and you get confused, then when I get you inside, I want to get your wet clothing off right away. Get you into warm blankets, start rubbing your skin, Again, use, use warm to hot water and drink a hot beverage. If there's any question, 911, when the patient gets into the emergency room, Arthel, we use warm intravenous, we use blood, we use respirators, and we even use something called ECMO, where we take the blood out and warm it externally and use oxygen, put it back in the body. Now, here's the good news. You could get very cold, and you could even look like you're not going to survive, but your heart continues to last at very cold temperatures. So we've had many, many miracle cases where we think somebody's gone, but as we warm them up, well, they wake even up. Even before you get there, can you, if you're out there, can you feel it coming on? Do you get lethargic? What, what happens, doctor? That's a great point, Eric. You actually feel lethargic. Yeah. And once you're lethargic, you, you lose the idea that it's coming on. That's what I'm worried about. You feel cold, you feel the tingling, you start to feel cold. But as you get lethargic, as Eric says, you lose track that you're and, about and, to black Dr. Samadhi, that's when I guess you should get inside really quickly. Well, there was a story of this elderly lady who went to save her husband, who was around 80 years old, and the husband had more layer of clothing, and, and they both uh, became hypothermic. Unfortunately, she passed away, and he survived. So having a lot of layers, if you're out there and you're going, make sure that you have three or four layers and cover yourself. That's how you keep the heat inside your body and you protect yourself. And you stop having this tingling feeling near your fingers or your face, get back in. Don't take a chance. All right, doctors. Good advice.